Thank you for all attending. As you know, it's uh, season 2011-12 Farnies, Farnborough Football Club, annual recognition of individual endeavours. So uh, it could have been it could have been a hell of a lot worse. When we planned this two or three weeks ago, that was prior to the five points being deducted. But uh, I think we start off on a high. What a fantastic performance! What a fantastic result! And how great it is that we've secured Blue Square South Football for next season. So to the boys here, be a round of applause. Um, we are going to recognise the first team, the reserve team and the youth team endeavours today and uh, we're going to start off with the youth section. So the first award is the youth team golden boot. I'd like to invite up Chris Palmer, youth team manager. Give him a round of applause, he's a little bit nervous. Now we'd like this to be Oscar-like, or it could very well be the, the Brit Awards when uh, Sam Fox and Mick Fleetwood presented it a few years ago, but we'll try and do it as smooth as possible. We've got the envelope. So, obviously Golden Boot, there's no, uh, there's no nominations, we're straight in. So, the winner is... Jamie Newby. Jamie Newby. Now, is Jamie here today? No, Jamie. What we'll do, we'll pass it on to Chris. If you'd like to present that to Jamie, I know we've got one more game to go this season. We've got Maidenhead in a few weeks' time. Hopefully, we can end the season on a, on a high. I'll keep Chris up here because it's the uh, another youth team award. This is the last one for the youth tonight. This is the youth team player of the year. And the nominations are. We've got Jordan Chandler. Callum Cobb. You can you can cheer, shout, holler, and you know generally sort of appreciate what they've done for the season if you, you want to. Jordan Merriman, Yay! Jamie Newby, Yay! Jake Somerville, Yay! and the winner is. He's been a great ambassador for the youth team this year. Uh, he's been the skipper, Callum Cole. Ladies and gents, it's been a, an up and down season um, for the youth team this season. Uh, great shame my good friend Aidan uh, left pretty early, uh, but I do appreciate Spencer and all his team for all the help they've given me. I also appreciate Steve Pierman and the reserve team staff for everything they've give, uh, helped me with. But I also uh, appreciate um, Mark Francis uh, with the under 16 lads who brought three, five guys in. It's not about winning football games, it's about producing football players. A lot of the, my youth team have played for the first team, they've played for the reserves, and that's what it's all about. So for me, I'm very proud of every single player that's been a part of that football team and apart from that squad. Uh, and hopefully, as far as Spencer's concerned, I've done my job. So I'm proud of every single player that's played for the youth team, and hopefully, uh, not next week, but the week after, we'll be playing Maidenhead here at home because their pitch is rubbish and ours is immaculate. So I, I intend to beat Maidenhead 10 0, maybe, I don't know. But I'll beat him as many goals as I can. But many thanks to the whole of the football club for all your support for the U team. Many thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Another round of applause for Chris. Next, he's had a sterling job, as I say, with Aidan at the start of the season. So, thanks for your help and support, Chris. All the best for the last game of the season and all the best for next season. I don't know what's happened to Steve, but we've got uh, Mike and Trevor here from, from the reserve, so they'll step in and ably uh, present the awards. So, the next award is the reserve team manager's player of the year. Obviously, this was selected by Steve. Who's going to have the honours of saying the, the winner? I'm going to leave it to you. Don't look so nervous. Right, so we've got some nominations for this one. The nominations are... Now here we go, I'm going to upset Sam now. Sam, are you here? Sam de saint Croix. Is, uh, is that good enough? Good, thank you. Bradley Fraser. <coughs> Tyrone Hemmings. Petira Moderna. Ben Myers. Emmanuel Oliedi. And the winner is... Sam. Sam. Congratulations, Sam, on the step. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor 
a bit time for Mr. Beale. No wrong star, I'll get it, it's alright, no problem. Perfect timing, Steve. Well done, Sam. Right, so next one is the Reserve Team Player of the Year. Thank you, Steve, for attending to do the second award. And we've got some nominations for this one. It's Sam de Saint Croix. Bradley Fraser, this looks familiar. Tyrone Hemmings. Butera Moderna. Ben Myers. And Emmanuel Oliedi. And the winner is. Ben Myers. Congratulations, Ben. It's been in the house. Oh, here he is. Good. No, shy away from that. Congratulations, well done. Well, thanks, Steve. And again, thanks to Steve, Roland, Trevor, Mike, and all the reserve team, management team for all their efforts this year. Right, so we're on to the first team awards. We're starting off with the Young Player of the Year. Now, this was a, a text or email vote uh, which came to myself. And uh, for this one, we're going to ask the club chaplain, Mark McGowan, to step forward and just present this. I think this is Mark's doing a great asset around the club. We're going to fixture on match days, and he may well tell him about, about faith in football, which is launching in a few weeks' time. So I shall pass the award over to you, Mark. <clears throat> right, nominations for Young Player of the Year. Adam Bygrave. <laughs> Mitch Ardini. <laughs> Ollie Treacher. <laughs> Before we go to the winner, and the next nomination, Jake Sumner. Uh, Nick, can you get your mum not to email and text me 35 million times? Because it's the only reason you've got the nominations. Jake Somerville. And the winner is? It's not going to be Paul Harkness, no. He won that in 1973 by all accounts, but uh, he, he was 23 at the time. Okay, and the winner is Ollie Treacher. <laughs> myself under young players but uh, I'd like to thank the management and uh, Garbo as well. Um, congratulations to the boys today. Shame I couldn't be playing. I wish I would like to have been in a team but well, congratulations. I'll just to uh, pass over to Mark and just to say a few words before he steps down. Uh, yeah um Faith in Football um, is a free community league that we've started for this community, obviously. Um, I've been overwhelmed with the generosity of everybody, the locals and all the football clubs, both Aldershot, Farnborough and Cove. It's been amazing. It launches on Monday, this Monday. So if anybody is around, we're going to be launching it here. Uh, it's for children that just can't afford to play football. Um, so we've got about 10 volunteers and uh, we've handed out a thousand leaflets for just the local schools here. So I think it's a fantastic uh, opportunity to allow young kids that can't normally play football to play. So um, I would just like to kind of say thank you uh, for everybody who's had football. We've had football kit, trophies, ev absolutely everything donated. Um, from local businesses through that breakthrough, it's been amazing. So it would be really great if you could just, you know, just show your support. We're going to be playing on a mon every Monday evening from half six to half seven, just over there, uh, just over in the park there. So if you're free, just come down and just, you know, show your support to the local kids because they're important, aren't they? Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you, Rob. 
And obviously it goes without saying that here at uh, Barnum Football Club we're absolutely delighted to be part and uh, partnering you in the scheme with two or three other local clubs and wish you all the best with, with Faith and Football when it starts in a, in a week or so's time.